We're here at a mid-air crash site of one of the aircraft involved, April 21st, 1958. An Air Force F-100F, a two-seater, collided with a United Airlines uh, DC-7 with a catastrophic result. The two men in the F-100 uh, both perished, one ejected, but too late. And everyone on the airliner, which went down only a few miles from here, uh, they died also. The F-100F site is a micro site, probably 1% or less. We're just starting to walk the field now. Here's a large piece from that aircraft. The F-100F was a supersonic advanced trainer, lead-in aircraft for the F-100 series, and then it was used in Vietnam as a, uh, a weasel fighter-bomber lead-in and attack airplane in, in Vietnam, in the Vietnam War. Yeah, a good, uh, a good one percent. This is a large piece that uh, we found in possibly the uh, impact crater site. It's a beefy piece. It's pretty heavy. As you can see, it's uh, it's worn over fifty some years, but uh, it's still still together. Okay, we found another fragment of the F-100F. Uh, it has the 192 prefix number, and in front of that appears to be uh, maybe the date of the part manufacturer, uh, December 7th, uh, 1956. And it is windy out here, as you can tell. Hard to stand up straight and hold still. So here we have aircraft skin. What a, what a terrible disaster. Everyone on the airliner and both men on the F-1, TF-1. All right, what we have here are two uh, different pieces of metal with two different numbers. Uh, the bottom number, or bottom piece of metal has a 180 prefix, and the top piece of metal starts with 173. And we believe these are both indicative of the F-100 uh, F series aircraft. Okay, here's another part. Uh, it's got a sub-assembly number of uh, uh, Tango Bravo 127403. Okay, here's an interesting piece. and. Uh, this looks like it's electrically controlled. You can see some gears in here, and it looks like it's some sort of a slider valve where that uh, valve in there slides out. Could be associated with pressurization. It's really kind of hard to tell. It's just a guess, not knowing the systems on the uh, F100. And there is a a, uh, a number 15979A as an alpha and there's a little bit of safety wire in here and there is another number here yeah here's another piece and uh, it looks like these are uh, turbine blades in here and there's scattered about here this would be associated with the engine Now here's some material that somebody placed on a rock. Looks like we have stainless steel here. And there are some numbers inside here that are etched in. This could be possibly from the engine, a st engine stator. Piece 
piece with a clamp on it. Now here's some uh, seat mount material here. You can see the buckles. And there's a spring over here to the left. Looks like part of a bulb. So here we have a piece that has the North American Aviation Inspector stamp on it, plus a HT heat treat uh, piece with the inspector stamp there, number 62. Change the angle slightly. And you can see a piece here, a lot of fire damage. Okay, we're on the site for the F100F, and I've come across a piece of aluminum cast, and uh, we think it could possibly be part of the uh, rudder pedal, which the pilot's foot would have been on. And it's lightweight, but heavily cast, and you can see where it's been fractured by impact and melted by uh, post-impact fire. Well, here we have a piece with 223, which is a prefix for the later series on the, I believe, on the on the F-100 that you could have for the uh, the F series aircraft. We'll check that, and then, yep, that's great. Be from parachute material, from parachute. I don't know that for a fact. Could be the drag chute too. So Tom Maloney spotted a piece with 192 dash, and that's an F-100 prefix. The F-100 A, C, D, and F uh, had a se sequence of numbers. So the 192 is from your earliest bird, A, C aircraft. Others have been here before us, and that's why we see the parts concentrated in one area. 